Complete Grace, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of the North Star of the New Testament, the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul's magnum opus. It says this in chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? I came across recently a quote from Louis Giglio, and it's a reminder of how powerful grace is. Grace is not a license to sin, but rather a source of strength to grow beyond our mistakes. Dietrich Bonhoeffer warned about something called cheap grace. He said, cheap grace is preaching of forgiveness without requiring repentance. True grace empowers us to repent and to move forward. Look, we all stumble and fall short of God's perfection. That's clearly in the Bible. Yet, even when we are faithless, God remains faithful. His grace not only covers our sins when we repent, but also moves us forward into power to transform and and walk in the Spirit and to have a brand new life. So grace is not an excuse for complacency. It rather propels us forward in our spiritual journey. Forgiveness breaks the power of past sin over over us, freeing us to live righteously. God's kindness or goodness leads us to repentance and compels us to align our lives with his will. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. God lets us receive his grace humbly and gratefully. And when we stumble, may we turn to him quickly in repentance, receiving forgiveness, and may we press on diligently in the path of sanctification, empowered by his spirit to grow into the image of Christ. His grace is sufficient for us. It's complete. It not only saves us, it sanctifies us. It changes us. It grows us. It is true that God loves you just the way you are, but he loves you far too much to allow you to stay that way. Mighty Father God, I pray that you'd be with those under the sound of my voice. Help us, God, to continue to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Help us to grow into the image of your Son. Help us to grow into the fullness of the stature of Christ. Help us to walk even as he walked. Forgive us, God, for trying to live in a cheap grace that just justifies our our continued playing with sin. Help us, God, to live righteously and uh, rightly. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.